Hey guys, welcome back to our Adventures in Aviators hiking series. Today we are in Panama City, Panama, at a beautiful little nature park right in the heart of Panama City Metropolitano Nature Park. In case you're new to our channel, we rank all of our hikes on five categories. That is location, facilities, plants and wildlife, trail traffic, and the payoff. And we rank them on a scale of one to five aviators. Five aviators. And if you are new to this channel, I encourage you to smash that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. All right, let's jump in here. Where are we today? Well, as I said, we are in the heart of Panama City. This hike is on the west part of town near the canal. And as you can see, they have saved this beautiful spot right in the middle of town for this beautiful, sprawling nature park with amazing views of the city itself. Metropolitano Nature Park and Visitor Center is where you're gonna be parking here. It's about 30 minutes to get across town, so it's not so bad, uh, but compared to many of the other hikes that you're gonna to have to travel a great distance to from Panama City, this one is right smack dab in the middle if you're just looking for a quick uh, jaunt into nature after uh, a day of checking out the city, this is a perfect stop for you. And for that reason, I'm going to give it five out of five aviators. Five aviators. So being that this is a nature park, you do have decent parking here right at the visitor center. There are facilities there as well. You can use the restrooms, go to the bathroom. And then you do have uh, nice paths throughout and signage as well as you uh, explore this area. And it is a very nice area. There are actually two sections to this park. There's one section that's right across the street from the nature center, which is smaller. Um, and then you kind of have a bit of a figure eight loop here. Um, it's not exactly a figure eight, which I point this out because Michelle and I actually thought that they were all connected. In fact, they are not, which meant we found ourselves on the very long path. We did all of this figure eight as opposed to just part of it, but it really ended up being quite beautiful. We really enjoyed our time there. You can see here because of the elevation gain, there is stairs at a couple of different points. They have a couple nice little pavilions. You could even like host a little gathering here. And there is nice signage throughout. And for all those reasons, I'm going to give this also the illustrious five out of five aviators. Five aviators. So when it comes to plants and wildlife, I really love this park because, man, within just moments, you forget that you're in Panama City and you just feel like you are in the jungle. But let's be real. We are here for one animal and one animal only, and that is Michelle's spirit animal, the sloth. And you'll see here on the map, we were told that we might be able to see sloths near this pond area. Um, and we looked and we looked and we waited and we waited and we saw nothing and we kept going, we were a little disappointed, but then we asked one of the guards here as part of the second loop. And he was excited, even in his very uh, minimal English, <laughs> to tell us, oh yeah, there are sloths around. And he was uh, very kind and helped to point out a couple way up in the trees. Uh, you'll see that we didn't get the best views of them, but we could certainly see them hanging out, doing their thing, being sloths, and we had a great time viewing sloths. I feel really happy right now. <laughs> Now there are definitely other uh, different plants and animals around. We saw uh, all kinds of bird life. We saw uh, armies and armies of ants. Uh, we saw a whole variety of things. We saw a couple of monkeys way up in the trees at one point. I'm sure they weren't actually monkeys and I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments, but uh, <laughs> some kind of a primate-like animal up in the trees. But so this had beautiful wildlife throughout. You couldn't necessarily get super close to all of it, uh, but you could certainly see it all around. We saw several uh, bird watchers as we were going around as well. So for that reason, I'm gonna give this four out of five aviators. For trail traffic, we always recommend going early in the morning, but in this case, we actually got there mid-morning and we really kind of had the place to ourselves. We just saw a handful of families uh, a little bit later in the morning. I do get the impression that this is a little bit busier. Uh, I think a lot of people come here before and after work, but we did not see all that many people at all. And again, you're just right out of the city and then all of a sudden you're just in this beautiful nature park. It was great. But for trail traffic, I'm gonna give this four out of five aviators. Finally, for the payoff, well, I mean, I guess it depends on what you're coming for. If you're here to see sloths and you get to see sloths, then you've, uh, you know, this made Michelle's whole trip right here was getting to see sloths in nature. But up on the second loop here, the northernmost loop, you do gain some elevation and you come up to the top of a hill with views on various sides of the city and of the canal area. It is a really, really pretty spot you can see here. You know, there are some trees and stuff around. It's not like a, you know, full on 360 or, or even a panoramic viewpoint, but you've got uh, beautiful views of this area. So there's a very nice payoff if you choose to do the path in the top part of the figure eight there, I uh, get beautiful views of the city. So because of the effort that you have to put in, which is minimal, and the chance to see beautiful views and potentially sloths, I'm gonna give this four out of five aviators. If you've been to Metropolitano Nature Park and have other suggestions, please put those in the comments below. 
We also have another video on Las Yayas waterfall further out into the country, a beautiful set of three waterfalls actually in this beautiful country. We encourage you to check those out as well. And as always, stay safe, keep this place cleaner than when you found it, and we'll see you next time.